This is Dr. Carroll, and this video is about heap sort. So given that we now have an easy and fast, order n, method to transform an unsorted array into a heap, and it's real easy and fast, order 1, to get the largest value from the heap, we could combine these two to make an efficient sorting algorithm, and that's what heap sort is. Okay, so let's go through the steps of heap sort. First, as mentioned, we're going to heapify. We're, we're going to uh, take an array and assume that it's a complete binary tree, and then we're going to make sure that it's a heap to satisfy the heap order property. Um, you may want to review my, my build heap video if you're a little rusty on that. The second step is we're going to remove the largest value and put it into its final place at the end of the array. A heap, we're assuming an array-based heap, that's the natural choice for it, is already in an array, and so we're removing the largest and putting it in its final place. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to swap the last item in the heap array with the largest item, and that puts the largest into its place. Now, this has two advantages. First, it places the root value into its final location, and second, it takes it's the first step of the bubble down or percolate, which is what we need to do to fix the heap. We need to call bubble down. So it does two things in one. And so we need to fix the heap so that it's a heap again. And then we go back to step two if there's more values. And repeat. And that's it. Let's see an example. Let's use um, a random array here, 71953. And then the first step there is step one to heapify, okay? And so this makes, we're, we're guaranteed that nine is the largest value, the highest priority here is the max heap, and but we're not guaranteed the um, order of the, the rest of the array. And so now that was step one. Now step two is we're gonna swap nine and three, pulling nine out of the heap, we're removing it from the heap, and putting three at the top. Now, we don't have a heap here. We have a semi-heap. And also, I want you to notice this little bar. Okay, so the bar indicates the sorted portion. So right now, we're, we're guaranteed that this last position in the array, and we're just going to reuse the same array for efficiency. Uh, imagine we have a million numbers. Um, we're going to use the same array, and the, this little bar is just an, a visual indicator of where the sorted portion of the uh, array is. Now, as I mentioned, this is a semi-heap and not a heap, so we need to call bubble down and make it a heap, uh, putting seven at the root and, and swapping it to get it there. Okay, so then uh, we remove the, we, we swap the largest value, removing it from the heap and putting it into the sorted portion of the array. This reduces the heap by size one and increases the the sorted portion of the array by an equal amount. Next step is we, we call bubble down to return it to a, the heap order property. We're going to swap the largest value out of the heap and put it into the sorted um, portion of the array. We're going to do that again and then, now we're, we're left with just one value in the heap and um, the, the rest of the array is the, the sorted order. So let's look at some skeleton code. So the first step is to heapify. Uh, as a reminder, that's going through, we only need to look at the non-leaf nodes in the heap. So we can start at the halfway point and then go up to the root, and we're gonna call bubble down on them. Now, um, and, and that's gonna be order n. And then for the, the other portion, the steps two, three, four, we're gonna start um, index i is going to keep track of where the largest item is going to go and we're going to swap what's at the very beginning of the heap, the largest value, with that item and then we're going to call bubble down uh, on um, at the, the root position and have it go down as far as it needs to. And that's it. That's the skeleton code. So let's talk about efficiency here. That heapify loop, as we've mentioned, as I mentioned before, takes order n operations. Now the second loop is, ex is executed n times 
for order n times with each one calling uh, bubble down. Uh, and bubble down is or order log n. So what we have here is we have an n plus n times log n, and that's going to equal n log n, which is fabulous. That, that's, the, um, that's the optimal number of comparisons that can be made. So let's talk about its characteristics. Is it stable? No, the heapify ruined that for us. Um, so it's not stable. Ex extra space, order one. We, we, we just need to keep track of some temporary variables and, and loop indices again. Average case, as mentioned, the efficiency section there is n log n. And notice our uh, analysis is independent of, um, of worst case or, or average case. And so worst case is also n log n. And that's, a, that's wonderful. That's, that's an amazing worst case. Is, the only downside is, is, adapt, is it adaptive? No, it's not. But that's heap sort, simple and fast.